Hello, my name's Sam Robinson and I'm lead level designer on Stealth Inc. 2. Uh, today I'm going to tell you about some of the new features of Stealth Inc. 2 and what sets it apart from the first game. So, Stealth Inc. 2 is a massive expansion on the previous game. In Stealth Inc. 1, you had to progress through the game by completing the test chambers in a linear fashion, one after the other. The biggest and most obvious difference with Stealth Inc. 2 is that it's a Metroidvania game. It's a huge exploratory world. And this is a world that you get to explore as you go through the game's story. The story in Stealth Inc. 2 is that you are a clone born into the high-tech facility of a company called PTI. The facility creates clones to test gadgets in dedicated test chambers. Right at the start of the game, you manage to escape the test chamber and find yourself in the wider PTI facility. So this is a large, seamless exploratory world full of new areas that we haven't seen before. And this world is filled with all the security systems, so like robots and security cameras and other devilish devices, uh, booby traps and death traps. So it provides a perfect backdrop for stealth and platform gameplay. Not only do you have this massive exploratory world, you also have the test chamber gameplay from Stealth Inc. 1. Only this time, the test chambers are hidden around the entire facility and it's up to you to explore and go and find them. Uh, you also discover that there are clones, fellow clones, hidden in all the test chambers and you have the ability to rescue them and bring them out into the facility. So as you progress further through the exploratory world, You'll discover and unlock new gadgets as you go, and each gadget gives the player a powerful new ability to not only progress further through the game, but also to go back and revisit areas that they didn't fully explore before. The exploratory world serves as a breathing space for the player in between doing the test chambers. So once you finish a test chamber, you can just go on out into the exploratory world uh, with all the gadgets that you've unlocked, and you can go and find the next test chamber or you can go back and find test chambers that you may have missed or go and rescue clones that you left in test chambers somewhere. So the player has the freedom to tackle the game at a pace that suits them. So as you can imagine the game is pretty big, it's probably around twice as big as the last one and we've only just really scratched the surface of all the new features in Stealth Inc. 2 in this video. I hope you've enjoyed this sneak peek at the new structure of Stealth Inc. 2. Uh, if you tune in for future videos, I'll go into more specifics about things like the gadgets, uh, the co-op mode, and uh, eventually the level editor as well. So tune in next time for all that, and until then, thanks for watching.